This segment is sponsored by Lucas Memorial Chapel. And welcome back to Sunnyside Up. We are joined now by Jason Lucas and Yolanda Hilliard Lucas from Lucas Funeral Home, and we're glad you guys are here. And we were just teasing it before the break. You guys are getting ready next year to celebrate 20 years here in Northeast Ohio. Huge accomplishment. From a business standpoint, what does that mean for you guys and your family and your clientele here? Well, number one, we're very fortunate to be able to be open now for 20 years has been a blessing. And to be able to help people when they're going through their most difficult time you know, it's, it's, it's very rewarding. Mm -hmm. Certainly uh, in the, the death business, I shouldn't even say it that way, but it's, it's an emotional time. And, but you're there to walk people through the process and also bring some comfort, bring some peace. Yeah, we look at it as a ministry. It's definitely um, very rewarding and we love helping people. And actually it, we become like a family um, through that process. Mm -hmm. How important is community involvement when you're you know, thinking about working with families and connecting with, with people? It's, it's very important. Uh, I've been very fortunate. Uh, my father was a pastor. So at a young age at the church, we did a lot of community work and also my grandfather. So now we're able to give back. It really means a lot to us. It takes a lot of work. You guys work in tandem. Um, what is that relationship like? And when you're talking to people, what kind of, does, it, does your own re, uh, experiences kind of relate to, to people and what they're going through? Yes, it does. Um, a lot of times, too, you know, we realize certain things, like you said, our personal things that we've been going through. And then to be able to share with others, it, it really is a blessing. You guys are involved with a number of organizations and community initiatives. What are some that stand out to you and, and why are you guys connected to them? Well, we've been involved with a lot of um, organizations and it's been generational and Jason can talk to this. Like his grandfather um, was in the NAACP in 1949 and he's been involved and Reverend Charles Lucas has been involved. So a lot of these um, organizations have been generational, but we have done a lot with also different other community groups. I don't know if you want to talk to that. We're very involved with our son's school. Lawrence School, we're in Fraternal, he's in Omega Sci-Fi. Um, there's also different um, local communities sure. within our neighborhood. We're involved with doing food and clothing drives. Literacy, literacy programs, yes. we know how important right. that is. Well, we've given out over how many scholarships now? Maybe yeah, for the 20? past 20 years, every year we honor the local high school students and give out two scholarships. Yeah, and I was reading some a little bit about your roots. Uh, your grandfather was one of the, the first elected African Americans. My in great great grandfather in Caddis, Ohio. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's where my family migrated from Virginia. My great, we have a trace back all the way to slavery, and then they migrated to Caddis, Ohio. And then multiple generations of yeah. business owners. Mm -hmm. yeah. Every generation actually has gone to college since after 1852. And it was starting um, his great 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 grandfather, who was the one elected um, in 1924. Sure. So it's a long history of education, and each generation achieving their achievements. I've yeah. been very blessed. Or yeah. their dreams. Well, this I is a say. real blessing right here, my sweet wife. <laughs> oh, <she's>, wives <laughs> are always a blessing. Right? Always a blessing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Every always, generation always has achieved their dreams. So right. for <laughs> the anniversary, uh, we understand there's going to be a documentary that is going to premiere. Can you give us a little sneak peek of w what's going into this this documentary? Well, number one, I'm fortunate. Again, I said earlier, because my wife is the one that's really working on this. Mm -hmm. So what we put together is, like I said, tracing our roots from slavery to the present. So we're kind of doing what we call our Lucas Leg Legacy documentary. And it just, number one, that tells about our family, but also, too, how African Americans, each generation, has taken it to a different level. Can you speak to the importance of kind of giving back to the community? You know, so much of me, we were talking about YouTube stars and social media and viral videos. Um, do you think the sense of giving back to the community is kind of a lost discussion these days? In some sense? I, sometimes I do. And like I said earlier, I, much too much is given, yeah. you know, much is required. So I've been blessed. So like I said, it's important for me, us to give back. Yeah. yeah. And I think it's both of us since childhood and both we were raised to give back. It's in our DNA. And my dad always tells me and my parents to love beyond words. You can yeah. talk it, but activate it. Go out there, make a difference. So that has been, I think, drilled into both of us. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And uh, for anybody, your young son, I'm sure, gets to see the great examples of you guys in the community as well. Has he talked about maybe career opportunities down the road? Oh, we got a long time to, <laughs> yes. to get there. But yeah. Family business? Oh, we'll, we'll see. Well, it's there for him, but actually he is... Wants to be an announcer. Oh, yeah, he wants to be oh, on yeah. TV. Oh, yeah. And he's a huge NASCAR, NASCAR. fan. NASCAR. NASCAR. Yeah, NASCAR. <laughs> and uh, so he really does that. So 
whichever way we, he goes, we want to support him. Yeah, we Wonderful. want him to achieve his dream, so whatever that may be. Mm. But right now, it looks like NASCAR announcer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you guys, uh, real quick, you, you're going to have some uh, opportunities for the community to come in and also celebrate this anniversary. Yes. Next year is our 20th anniversary, and we have a lot of upcoming events, and we're really excited and thankful, too, for Cleveland, the support that they've given us. Certainly. Okay, so it will be concerts, seminars. It'll be a whole year of celebration. All right. Yeah, well, we'll thank you for being here, Jason, Yolanda. And thank and, you uh, for having us. Yeah, thank yeah. you for having yeah. us. Yeah. Happy anniversary. <laughs> thank you for the work you do. We know it's certainly difficult work, but necessary work, and you guys do it with heart and compassion. So we appreciate you being here. Thank Let's uh, send things over to the Weather Center. Now, Cleveland's certified most accurate forecast with meteorologist and lake effect expert, Jeff Tanchak.